This program contains strong language. Well, and literally dream man. Sweet. Here we go, here we go. No! All my life, I've always been like the job. I just admire you so much. What is this? Last season, we went fishing in the UK for the first time ever. I'm Aaron. Are you joking? This necklace, this was you? That, that was, was you, me. was it? Why? Teach you a lesson. And now we're back with even bigger fish to fry. That's right, Neve. So watch out, Great Britain. This is what the guys got to hide. <gasps> this series, I'll be joining Ubar to go catfishing. I'm 100% worried. Nella has grown up documenting her life online. She knows the internet inside out, so nothing will get past her. You're not entitled to go into anyone's phone. And Ubar is a documentary filmmaker who's all about seeking the truth. <gasps> this was about revenge. With the help of a few friends along the way. That's her. That's her. That's her. The time is up, buddy. Oh. oh. <gasps> We're here to uncover the mysteries behind your online romances. He sends me poems. You're smitten. <laughs> <laughs> so let the fishing commence. You need to go. Oh, my day. Whoa. That's shady as hell. This, this is Catfish, Catfish UK, UK, the, the TV, TV show. show. All right, guys, so I know you can notice something a bit different about my look today. I have these secret filming glasses and I'm going to be recording Uber the whole time. Let's see if he notices straight away. Hey. Hi, friend. Hello. You look amazing. I love the glasses. OK, thank you. Do you want to get to work? <laughs> yeah, why, why, what? I feel like there's something happening here. Nothing's happening. But why are you always accusing me of stuff? What's going on? You're, you look excited. like you're up to no good. I've been recording you this whole time. <laughs> You've got like a secret me. camera in the glasses. Yeah, I'm recording you. I got got. I got yeah, got. got, got. I <laughs> Email time. It says soulmate SOS. Hi, Uber and Nella. My name is Levi. I'm 19 and I live in Rotherham. Three months ago, I was down in London and I swiped right on a guy called Will. He is a god. He's from London and he works in property investment and development. Ooh, got money! <laughs> believer, believer, Even though it's only been three months, I've never been with someone that makes me feel so confident and happy being myself. It's lovely. I was in a year-long situationship for a met Will and it was meeting him that made me walk away from my ex. I'm ready to take things to the next level, but the thing is, we haven't met. I always ask him if he's about, but every time he's been away with work. It's got to the point where I just need to meet him, so I'm hoping you guys can help. For you to That's walk a big one. away from your ex for somebody, that's deep because you've essentially left something that's real yeah. for something that could potentially be fake. Let's give Levi a call. Yes. Hey, Levi. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I'm good, thank you. How are you? We're great. Tell us about you and Will. Dream man. Never met anyone who's caring, I was loving. <laughs> I come out of you know a really toxic relationship. Right. Uh, I don't think I probably would have come out of that if it wasn't for Will. Wow. So your connection with Will gave you the bridge to get out of what was a difficult part of your life. It showed me how you should be treated by someone. How often do you guys talk? We speak all day, every night. So all day, every day. <laughs> Literally. Have you guys ever spoken on the phone? No. OK. Have you tried to meet up? Yeah, so when I go to London to see family, I have, you know, been like, I'm in London, do you want to meet? But, you know, he travels, like, all the time. 
Does he ever send you pictures of himself in the places that he's saying that he's traveling to? Yeah, like literally I've seen the places, I see his uploads. I can't, you know, we can't even on photos. Okay, and what are you hoping that we can do for you guys? I just want to meet him, you know, I just want to see his smile, you know, and just to fall in love with him. Just give him a hug, a kiss, and run off into the sunset. We think that we can help you, definitely. Me and Uber, we're gonna drive up to you and have like a proper catch up in real life, okay? Not wait to see you. Bye. Bye, darling. See ya. I mean, Levi, it seems like he's putting a lot of his future happiness on Will. They speak every day, but they've never had a call. The concerns are there. We should get to Rotherham. Let's go, Yorkshire. Let's go. Can you do a Yorkshire accent? I don't even know what it sounds like, bro. Hello. Hello. Huh? All right. What? All right, Nook. How's it going? Yorkshire puddings. Go. <laughs> Here. Yeah, this is it. Let's go. You ready? Yes. Hi. Come on in. Hi, darling. Hi, you're all right. Hi. Nice Hi. To you're all right. Yeah, thanks for having Good. us. I'm Thank excited. you for being here. Yeah. Tell me everything that you know about Will. Will is the absolute dream, it's everything that I could possibly want. Yeah. It's just so attractive. How hot? I'll show you how yeah. hot. <laughs> Literally. Wow. Wow. Literally. Tall, dark and handsome. So when Will messages you, how does that make you feel? As soon as I see that notification, stop everything what I'm doing, right. smile. So after a few months, you still get like those butterflies, like, oh my God, he's just messaged me. Yeah, because it's just, I've not had that yeah. at all. So you've grown up here then, you've been here all your life? All my life. Rotherham is a small town. Mm. Right. Being gay and being half Asian, you know, it comes with a lot of backlash. It's not been the easiest. Mm. And some people just don't quite understand me. It's very hard. There's about two friends that I've got, so it becomes very, very lonely. I would say I'm different. I think people sometimes get confused. Mm. Um, you know, they see my look and it's, oh, you look like a girl, so you want yeah. to be one. And it's like, no. And then it kind of becomes a thing where uh, it's sexualised, so people will sexualise me. Will's completely different to that. So he doesn't, like, ask you to send pictures mm, and, like, make, There's... like, you know, raunchy comments and no. stuff. It's more about, it's like... It's more of, like, personality, yeah. who you are. Like, is this a romantic relationship we're talking about, or is it more of a friendship? Definitely romantic. Mm. So in terms of timelines, you're with your ex. Yeah. You kind of stopped that yeah. in order to focus on Will, is that right? I had a toxic relationship. Yeah. Mm. It were arguing, shouting, yeah. just constantly on and off. The downs were like down, down, down. And I kinda got to a point where that was normal. Whereas Will showed me that it's that's not normal and this is how you should be treated. Yeah. Will is caring. Mm. Makes me feel secure. Mm -hmm. He accepts me mm -hmm. for who I am, how I act, how I look. And that's what makes me more invested in Will. Mm -hmm. A few weeks ago, I actually received some flowers and I got a little card. And it says, to Levi, just a little something to show you I'm thinking of you. I hope these make you smile, love, Will. Do you normally receive flowers? Never. Really? I have never oh. received a gift of any man 
So that's why I carry it with me. Yeah. Yeah. I got him and went to Netherlands. I was like, yeah. <laughs> look at this. Have you dived into him online? Have you found any online profiles well, for the business? Or? Um, Insta, like, is the company name. So that's where it is. So oh, there there is a company it. name. The fact that he's open about the business name, he's actually sharing things with the properties, yeah. but gives you a bit of confidence. Yeah. Have you reverse image searched? Yeah. You have. And nothing. Right. So that's why it's like, oh, okay. real deal. So have you guys, like, exchanged phone numbers? Um, no, but, you know, I'm not kind of a uh, calling person. I spend a lot of time online. We speak online all the time. You've tried to meet up with Will? Yeah. And his excuses are? It's working, you know, another property has come up and he's going to check it out. No, like, FaceTime, no video calls. No. What point of your life are you at? Like, are you... I'm are ready you, to... You're ready go. to... Where are you trying to move to? London. You got your eyes on the big city? A hundred percent. It's like Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that, like, seeing Will's lifestyle, you almost think, yeah, that is what I that want. That is like what I dream that I could do one day. So what would be the best case scenario? Spend the rest of my life with him. Well, Levi, this was so great meeting you. And we want to do everything we can to, you know, get you your answers, make you happy. Mm. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your help. We'll be in touch. Can we all have? Oh my god, thanks. Yeah, See you thank you. See you later. See ya. Bye. Yeah, he's great. All the stuff that he's been through, he's still like almost like a hopeless romantic, and I like yeah. that. One thing I do think is interesting is how the relationship is non sexual, and also that this person is uh, sending him flowers. It's all very wholesome. Could this be someone who cares about Levi and yeah. wants to, you know, help Levi get out of this horrible situation? Will not only represents, like, someone who he wants to spend his life with, mm -hmm. but, like, the promise of, like, hope. And if you take that away from someone, it's going to devastate them. Okay, so what do we know? We know that Levi has been speaking to Will for three months, who he even left his ex for. Yeah. No phone calls, no video call. They only talk on Instagram. Levi wants to take things forward. Will, for some reason, is keeping a distance. Yeah. Has he got something to hide? Let's find out. Okay, so let's check if Levi has sent us an email. So it says, hi, Uber and Nella. Loved meeting you yesterday. I've attached some pictures and videos that Will sent me. He told me he's currently in Paris with work for a few days. So where should we start? Levi said that he had ran all of the images. Yeah. And the guy is, like, smart. Mm -hmm. He's done his research and he hasn't found anything. OK, so let's just check the video then. Mm-hmm. Yo, so imagine I had to get up at half five and now I've got to get back to central London for a job for nine. He's just saying, yo. He's not yeah. saying, hey, Levi. One thing that I did think was, like, they're all very short. Like, they're all, like, the length of maybe what you'd find in an Instagram story. Yeah. That kind of points towards the fact that this has been taken from someone, potentially. Mm -hmm. So should we take a look at Wall's social media now? Yes, let's do that. You've only got nine posts. Yeah. OK, so this is like him doing a property thing. It's added this stunning townhouse in Paris to my portfolio today. So yeah, I mean, Levi said that he was in Paris. Yeah. It fits with what Levi had said about Will. Can I just say, his engagement is so low. One like, one comment. Is the one like Levi? Oh, it is. It doesn't look good. It doesn't At look all. good. Let's keep digging. He's got a story up right now. 
He does. Okay, so he's got like a very candid picture of himself. I think we should reverse image search to see what comes up. Right, so running that picture through This is an auction website. So, let's message the account. Because the thing is, I mean, the, the model could be called Will. Yeah. He could, that could be his actual life. And that would fit with a busy lifestyle. But equally, they might just say, yeah, I know this guy and his name's Mark and he lives in Northampton. OK, let's do it. Hey there, we're Uber and Nella from Catfish UK. We wanted to speak to you. About one of your models and would love to jump on the phone. OK, so that's sent. Mm -hmm. um, let's go back on the profile. It does say the property investment company that he works at. Oh, here we go. This looks legitimate. Let's click on contact. Yes. There's phone numbers. It's this one here, that's it. OK. Come on, let's do yeah. it. Yeah? Yeah, let's do okay. it. Hi, I heard that a guy called Will works at your company, and I just wanted to know if he's there, if you could put us through to him. Oh, there's nobody by that name in our company. Thank you very much. We'll be, we'll be in touch soon. He's lying about where he works, so where's he travelling to? He's a liar. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He could still be the guy in the pictures. Oh, you're getting called. You're getting called. Hello. Hi, you're right. It's uh, Jamie. You guys just hit me up. Oh, are you clothing? Yeah, well, that's that's my uh, brand, yeah. Oh, OK. Um, would it be able to switch to FaceTime? Would that be possible? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. <gasps> hey, Jamie, we're helping a friend of ours called Levi. Yeah. Um, who's been speaking to someone online and is falling in love with them. Um, however, the person who they've been speaking to looks exactly like you. Yeah. Um, well, I ain't got a twin, so... Yeah. So you don't... You don't have any... you never gone by the name of Will? You... <laughs> no, OK. No. <laughs> have you been speaking to Levi? Um, nah. Um, well, I've, I've, got, I've got a girlfriend. I literally just moved in with her as well, so... Oh, wow. Oh. Like... <laughs> I must say, you don't seem like you're surprised by us calling you. At all. People have used my pictures before. Would it be um, OK if we got your Instagram name, please? Yeah, of course. It's the... Uh... Yeah, so this is like a... This is yeah, a real profile. this is your yeah, profile. Yeah. We obviously have, like, a, quite a, a difficult task now of going to Levi and kind of breaking the news to him that, you know, he's been lied to the past few months. Yeah. So do you mind recording us just a video explaining the situation. Yeah, no, that's all good. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. We're going to have to break all of this down to Levi and essentially break his heart. I think a really important point here with Levi is that it's always been about more than Will. It's yeah. always been about a life in which he's accepted. Levi needs to know that Will is a catfish. Let's just get this over and done with. Yeah, let's go. OK, let's do it. OK. OK, let's go. Do you think this is someone who cares about Levi? It's Eva. This person is trying to make him feel better by just being there for him and speaking to him every day. Or this is somebody that just wants revenge and wants to, like, take the make out of him and his life. Yeah. Oh. 
How are you? I'm just so anxious. We're here, we're on your team. This morning, we started to investigate your case. We actually took a look at walls of social media. One thing that I personally noticed you're the only person that likes and comments on his pictures. Do you not think that's, like, a little bit suspicious? It is a little bit. Yeah. Thinking, yeah, it is odd. We looked into his bio, and there's the company that he works for, right? Yeah. They had a website, so... Have you been on this page before? Yeah, I've looked at it before. We decided to call the number. Lovely woman answers. She said that a will doesn't work there. So Will's essentially been lying about his job. Why well, couldn't we meet if he doesn't work there? Why lie? Mm -hmm. If it's just because he's got a different job mm. and he just wants to be flashy, I'd still be like, why? We went back to look at his social media. He posted a story earlier today of this image. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, was like, well, that's like, that's a professional image. Yeah. So we ran the reverse image search. It led us to this. So this is a listing on an auction website. We sent the seller a message, and a person actually called us. Um, I don't know how to put this into words. Is that Will? Yeah. Um. I don't know how to put this into words. I'm going to show you a video, and it's just going to explain, like, everything. Hey, guys, how's it going? My name's Jamie. Unfortunately, I'm not Will. Uh, I do have a girlfriend as well. We have literally just moved in together in London. But uh, I really hope you obviously get things sorted, and I'm sorry this happened to you. I wish you all the best. You didn't ask for this. No, I believed it. Yeah. Like, genuinely. Yeah. I should have just known what could have happened. Nothing ever goes the way I want it, so... All my life, I've always been, like, the joke. At school, I've been just, like, laughed at. In the street, people are shouting names, you know, like racial abuse, you know, like homophobic abuse. When it comes to willing, there weren't none of that. I can only imagine how difficult that is. Mm -hmm. I've been like attacked and things like that. Oh my God. For what reason? Just for just like just being me. Me and my friends, we went out in the club. And there was like 
a group of girls and like boys. And the next minute I know, there was like six people on top of my head. Yeah. That's really sad. God bless you. You've been through so much. Speaking to Will like, made me think I can let my guard down with him and I would just be able to be myself. Feel like a jerk. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. I just admire you so much. Like, you're just an amazing, strong human being. And I know what you go through is, like, so hard. <laughs> because you can't help but be who you are. someone just bullying me again. I'd just have to just get my head around why. Yeah. For what reason. Mm-hmm. I think the thing for us to do right now is to just message him. Tell him that we know that everything he's told you is a lie. The least he can give you is an explanation. I want the answers, and I feel like I deserve him. If he does care about you, we'll send him an address and he'll show up. Right. Yeah? So I'm gonna message him. Hey, Will. It's Uber and Nella here from Catfish UK. We're here with our friend Levi, who we understand you've been speaking to and have a lot of love for. We know you are not the person you say you are, so if you care about Levi, you would agree to me. You send it? Mm-hmm. I've sent it if he really meant everything that he said to you over the past few months, then he would show up. I want you to be hopeful and understand that we're going to get you the answers that you deserve. Thank you. I feel like we should have a group hug. Yeah? Let's have a group hug. I give the best hugs, watch. I've just got a notification. Whoa. From what? Uh, no. This is From Will. Him, it's Will. Uh, no. Look, it says, hi, I can't meet today. I could make tomorrow work in London. Agreed, we need to chat. He has the audacity to put kiss, kiss. Stop. <gasps> this is massive. This sounds like someone who wants to meet you. Do you have friends in London? Mm, not really, no. I mean, it's not someone in Rotherham. No. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, so that means it's no one class, really. You came to us, wanted to meet this person, and it looks like it, it actually might happen. Try and get some rest, and we'll see you in the morning. Yeah. OK? See you right, come on, guys. Make sure you get some rest. <laughs> see ya. See you later. Bye. 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 Okay. Right. Let's go get Levi, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. I think this is the first time we're off to a meet, and I genuinely have no clue who the catfish is. My instinct is that it's someone who cares about Levi. If you meet someone on, on a dating app, yeah. and then you literally start to spend three months talking to someone, telling them to do good things with their life. Yeah. I just think that it's all points towards someone who cares about them, or who at least has developed feelings for them. Yeah. Oh, there's Levi. Hey. Hi. Hi, darling. You right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Have you heard from Will in the night? 
Um, yes, I did message me. Really? Yeah, he sent me um, some links and told me if I could meet him there at 12. Click the link. What does it say? It's somewhere in Kennington. Kennington is like South Central. Yeah. How are you feeling today? More angry. All that's going from my mind is it could be anyone, anyone that he bullied me and just think it's just another joke. Yeah. And it's, that's kind of why I'm like, like so angry. Yeah. No one answers. So we're actually just around the corner now from where he told us to meet. This is it. This is the place. Here it is here. We just pull it on the left. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. We're just basically in the middle of a square. Literally. This person can see us from any corner if they wanted to. I guess if we just head out into the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Does this mean anything to you? Have you ever met anyone around this no, part of town? No, never, ever. Like, it could be anyone. I don't know what to expect. It's just gone midday, so this is when he said midday. I just hate the fact that we don't know what we're looking for, whether it's boy, girl, someone over there. Where? There. Are you being fucking serious? Jesus, 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 Jesus. What the fuck is this? Someone over there. Where? There. Jesus, Jesus. What the fuck is this? Are you having me a job? Do you know them? That's my fucking auntie and a girlfriend. Eee! What are your names, sorry? Yeah. Billy. Kira. Who's your auntie? Kira. It's my mum's sister. Oh, you will? Yeah. yeah. W which one of you is Will? Both of us. What the fuck? Well, why do you think we've done it? I don't know why you've done it. Think, you Levi, come on. We needed to help him get out of a situation that we're in. When you mean the situation, do you mean his relationship with his ex? Yeah. yeah. Then you decided to take it into your own hands. Like, it was stuck in a circle. Yeah. That he just kept going around. Uh, and, then, like, for us, as a family, to get phone calls nearly every night of him crying down phone and stuff like that. And no matter what we said to him, he just wouldn't listen. How dare you? After everything I've been through. Precisely everything that you've been, been through, Levi. Me. I've been lied to. I literally thought someone accepted me. I thought someone loved me. And then it turns out that it's just bullshit. But there's going to be someone out there like that, Levi. Yeah, That's going to get someone. you. I thought, I thought Will. I thought I had Will. And Will's not the two. It's you. You've literally 
fucking embarrass me. But you, Levi, like, no, no matter it's, how it's much, not, no, no, no. It's Listen not about that, that. Yeah. it's not about Listen. it. You've, I've literally, I thought I was going to travel the world with someone, I was going to have companionship, a soulmate, and it's all bullshit. You didn't have to do it this way. There Levi, could have been there other was no things. other way. There could have been other ways. It could, you could it, have thought we of something desperate. else, not we this. We were desperate to help you because you were stuck. It's hard because we know you're this huge character and you're stuck in your flat sobbing over a boy then who, doesn't, who right. doesn't do right for you. Do you think this is right? Like it's right not way right. We it, understand like... that it's not right, but at the end of the day, we're trying to get through to you where you've built a wall so high that you're not letting us in. And the only way to get through you is if we're a complete stranger trying to talk to you. To do this, is, it's no better than anything Levi, else. I tried speaking to you every single day. Every time you come down here and you, you are a totally different person to when you're back home, you're you. I've offered to move you down here. You could have the life that you want if you just listen. This is not the you way you get through to someone out. by by lying to them and manipulating them. You match with your your nephew on a dating app. That's mad. It's warped. Yeah. If you'd not spoke to Will, where would you be now? Realistically, where would you be now? I'd be in the same spot, but it's the point that I've spoke Going to around someone in the same for circle. three months before that I had someone. Going around in the same I've circle. I've literally looked at everything I've been through. Yeah, precisely. I've grown up with your Levi. So you should I've know seen you go this through is it. not... I've had to go through the same thing. This should not be the thing to I do. I know what it's like growing up in the area where we grew up being no. gay. I know how it feels. Clearly, you care about Levi and you wanted to help him out of a situation you thought was really bad for him. Why did you think the situation was so bad? Like, I've seen him go through things at school. Like, he'd gone through so much to become who he wanted to be. And it was like, so we're just taking away the stuff that he had right. to do to, to become who we were. The first time that he asked to meet up with Will, did you not, at that point, think, this is going a bit far? We did. We needed to get through to him a bit more because the relationship between Levi and his ex was very on and off. So we thought, if we cut it off there, he's just going to turn around and go back. But do you not see how it's done him more harm than good? Yeah, we do. Now, look how devastated he is. I'm so we sorry that it's come really to this. Sorry. So was it you that sent him over some flowers? Yeah. And what was the reason for that? Just to obviously make him feel good. We were having a rough time at that point. On the note, it was just something to make you smile, just to make him see that he is worth more. You could have kept that moral high ground and continued to be these amazing people in his life. You keep that position in his life, he'll always come back to you. Because you've ended up breaking a bond with your nephew over something that he probably would have walked away from in his own time. Yeah, no, I know you understand that. Still disagree with how you've gone around it. But I see, the, I see your reasons, but I think it's just going to take a long, long time to get to where we were. It weren't ever meant to get to I this. Know, we I we know did, that. and it many did come times from a good we... place. Like I can it weren't see that, malicious in any way. But you know, I can see where I'm kind of coming from. I can see, you know, I've, I've changed. I have pushed people away. But I think it's just because of, you know, we're hanging on to something that way. God. We do have a special relationship, you know, it is unique, we are very close. I mean, we are family. We'll always be family. It's just going to take time to build go it over that up. and build it and get it to that point again. Yeah. 
Yeah. I guess now it's a case of proving to one another that you guys care about him enough and that you trust, you can trust them. Yeah. But ultimately, your family. I understand that Levi's going to have to think things through, but we'll always be there for him. This took a lot to come clean about this. We really appreciate it. We do have faith that you guys are going to... I'm sure you'll get through this. You seem like you really care about each other. So, thanks. You see We just don't want you to walk away from this situation feeling like you deserved for this to happen to you. You're an amazing person and you should never have to dim your light for anybody and that you should always be yourself. Listen, one day you're going to meet somebody that's going to make you feel 10 times better than whoever made you feel in real life. There are so many people out there who will love you. We love you, so don't let the experience of the world shape who you are as a person. And equally, don't be trapped in relationships with people who don't appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Let's get you home, yeah? Yeah, on. And off we go. Hi. Oh, my God, you look gorgeous. Oh, my God, thank you. Levi, how were you feeling then about everything that went down? It was a shock. So I went home, you know, sat and thought about it, and then I reached out to my aunties, and we spoke about it. Um, and, you know, like, I couldn't see where it was coming from, and now I'm in London. <laughs> and I'm seeing someone. <gasps> oh, my God. No way. Taking it step by step, so it's not there's no labels on it at the moment. And how is your relationship with your aunties now? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my God! Guys. Obviously, we regret how we did things. He's just the happiest. It's just Levi back. Oh! This is so cute. This is amazing. <laughs> I'd be lost without him, bro. Like I love him so much. At the end of the day, like. Blood is thicker than water. I love that. 100%. It was lovely catching up. All the best, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye. What happened? What? The most important thing, they haven't lost each other. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Woohoo! I'm weird. Done.